Welcome to an overview of the new features found in the latest version of VixWin Platinum 2D imaging software. This version of VixWin builds upon and adds to an already advanced set of imaging tools such as the optimizer and spine compensation features. Any previous version of VixWin Platinum can be updated to version 3.6.0 by downloading and installing the software from cavo.com. The VixWin Platinum software license remains valid and the database is compatible. Call 888-ASK-CAVO if you need any assistance. VixWin now offers seamless integration with the DEXAS Titanium and FS Ergo by CAVO intraoral sensors. When you initially plug the sensors in, files are automatically installed. When DEXAS FS Ergo or DEXAS Titanium sensors are enabled in the Imaging Device menu, floating icons are displayed. Red if the sensor is disconnected, green indicating the sensor is armed and ready to acquire, and yellow indicating that an image is being acquired or processed. Another new feature will enable the user to export, email, and print a full mount series in high resolution as a single image. To export the mount, click on File, then Export, then Mount Layout. Choose the desired file format and destination folder and click Export. You may choose to include or exclude the VixWin viewer. To email a mount, you must use Microsoft Outlook. Click on File, Send Email, and Mount Layout. Outlook will open with the mount attached, ready for a recipient and a message to be added. The mount may be printed by selecting File, Print, then Mount Layout. Before the mount is printed, you may add any notes you wish to include with the image. VixWin is now compatible with the Microsoft Outlook 64-bit version. You can discover whether your Outlook is 32-bit or 64-bit by opening Outlook, then click File, Office Account, and About Outlook. If you find you are running 64-bit, you will need to select Options on the toolbar, then Preferences, then the Email tab, and mouse-click I am using a 64-bit email program. When VixWin 3.6.0 is open to the patient folder, users of the previous version will notice that the search field has been transitioned to the right side. To search for a patient, begin typing the patient's first or last name or the patient number. Additional features and enhancements include the DEXAS Platinum Sensor and DEXCAM 4 HD Intraoral Camera are now supported through GX Picture. Practice Management Bridge updates for Dentrix, SoftDent, Easy Dental, and EagleSoft. Compatibility with the latest version of Anatomage in Vivo 3D Imaging Software. DAP Dose Area Product support for Cavo OP 3D. Logbook support for 3D cone beam computed tomographic scans. One significant addition to VixWin 3.6.0 is the seamless integration of DEXAS CarryView. CarryView is a portable carries detection device that uses patented transillumination technology to support the identification of occlusal, intraproximal, and recurrent carious lesions and fractures. Before we get into the software side of things, let's take a look at the carry view. You may press anywhere on the ring button to freeze, save, or power on or off the handpiece. The arrow buttons allow you to change the tooth number in the template prior to image acquisition. The handpiece comes with two removable, sterilizable tips with different size arms to better accommodate different tooth heights. The holder will power on the handpiece when it is removed and power it off when replaced. The flexible tip arms straddle the tooth and transmit near-infrared light. Let's look at the image capture process of CarryView in VixWin. After a patient has been selected in VixWin, 
click on the Full Mouse Series tab, New Mount, and select a mount. You may choose from any of the available mounts, or you may create a custom mount with the Bixwin Mount Editor. Let's select the Image Capture Series mount, which is specifically designed for CarryView molar and premolar image capture. Click the Image Capture toolbar icon. To better view the interface, I'll turn on the carry view and select the tooth. The image capture user interface consists of a tooth chart, an image area, and various buttons for control of the software and the carry view. The interface can be moved and changed in size by using your mouse. Changes in its appearance are saved when the interface is closed and are available again the next time the software is opened. When the interface opens, you are in the manual acquisition mode. You may select any tooth on the tooth chart to acquire its image with the carry view. The image or images will be mounted and identified in the Bixwin mount after the image capture interface is closed. To demonstrate, let's say your patient is experiencing some sensitivity with tooth number 20. While the image capture series mount has cells for 20 images, you may take fewer. I will select the tooth number in question and position the carry view over the tooth. When the application guidance tooth icon illuminates, indicating the best position is reached, I will capture the image by either depressing the carry view ring button or clicking on the take picture icon. After the image is captured, let's X out of the interface. The image is automatically mounted in the proper quadrant and sequence number. Right click on the image and click tooth chart to see that the tooth number is properly recorded. To alleviate any possible confusion regarding the tooth position in the image capture tooth chart and the positioning of images in the image capture series mount, let's look at the image capture tooth chart. The upper arch and the lower arch have the opposing teeth placed and numbered. Now let's look at the image capture mount. The top row compares with the image capture tooth chart, but the bottom row is flipped. If you would like to change the sequence order, you may do so by editing the mount in the Bixwin mount editor. Next, let's look at the display settings by clicking on the display settings icon at the top left of the interface. Here we may view or change the acquisition mode and device and application settings. The default acquisition mode is set to manual. You will manually select the teeth to be recorded, as you saw when I recorded an image of number 20. If preferred, the acquisition mode may be automated by clicking on series mode, then double clicking on either the occlusal full mouth or full mouth series to record the teeth in an automated sequence, according to a preset order. Let's click on the Show All Available Series icon to take a closer look at the acquisition templates. When Occlusal Full Mouth is clicked, the series tooth chart appears with all molars and premolars appearing on a colored background, an indication they will be included in the capture process. Image capture will automatically begin with tooth number one, and all occlusal teeth in each quadrant would then be sequentially selected for capture. You may accept the adult template or change to a primary one. Clicking on Start will return you to the user interface to begin recording. If you do not want to start at number 1, select 2 from the bottom tray. You may skip any tooth that you do not want to take an image of, like missing teeth or because restorations are present, such as crowns. You may choose to manually move about the chart but the next tooth in the sequence will be activated when an image is taken. If you don't want to move in an automated sequence, it would be better to choose the manual acquisition method than a series. Clicking full mouth will display a series that allows automatic capture of all teeth. You may also choose to create a new series. I will create one that will be used to record all molars. We'll begin by selecting the tooth numbers in any order desired. Next, let's give the series a name and a description, if desired, and then click Save. 
Let's click on Start to return to the user interface. You will see that number 32 is selected to be captured first. If 32 is missing, simply select 31 in the lower tray. After a tooth is captured, the next tooth in the series will be selected for capture. A user-created series may be edited or deleted. You may capture images without using a mount. Let's return to the VixWin user interface. While in the full mouth view, delete any unwanted mounts by clicking on Full Mouse Series, then clicking Delete Mount. Next, click Image Capture, select the tooth to capture, and take the image. X out of the interface and you will see that the image has been placed in the new image bin. Right click on the image to fit the screen and right click and return to mount after viewing is finished. Let's return to the image capture interface and click the display settings icon. Next we'll click on the display application settings tab. Here you may either activate or deactivate the tooth chart and or the numbered tooth chart in the interface. In device settings, you may activate or deactivate various carry view settings. Additional settings may be found by clicking the advanced settings button. Here it is recommended that you only adjust brightness and contrast. If you click on the question mark at the top right of the interface, you can access the carry view image capture user manual. You may also view lesion progression examples. We now come to the close of this overview of the new features and enhancements in VixWin Platinum 3.6.0. Additional information including document downloads and training videos of either VixWin or Dexas CarryView may be found on the Cabo website. Please call Cabo at 888-ASK-CABO with any questions that you might have that are unanswered.